Check it out everyone, we just got in our T-Mobile G Slate review unit and we're just going to do a quick unboxing, show you the device itself and what else is inside with it. As far as the packaging is concerned, it's pretty much straightforward. You have the uh, G Slate there with Google branding, um, T-Mobile, you got the image of the device there, nothing too much on the sides. And on the back, we're treated to some quick specs, I'll just read, them, read it off real quick here. It's 4G capable, HSPA+, plus, uh, Wi-Fi com compatible, 8.9 inch high definition touch screen, and has two cameras, two in the back, uh, 5 megapixel a piece, so uh, you can shoot 3D videos at 720p, or you could use one of them to shoot a uh, full 1080p video. Front facing camera for video chat, 32 gigabytes of storage, it has the NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core processor, 1 gigahertz, and shows you also some of the other included items with it. So let's take a look and see what, what's inside here. So there she is. We have the uh, G Slate here. It's a little bit more widescreen than other tablets, especially for an 8.9 inch display. We'll take a look at that shortly here. Let's see what else, what other goodies we've got. Looks like the documentation. It's pretty much straightforward. Product guide and warranty information. And of course, in Spanish, if you'd like that. We also have some of the usual set of accessories. You got the wall charger. You got it's a proprietary one, as you can tell. It's a little bit more narrow, a little bit smaller than two and a half millimeter jack. So let's take put that aside. Save that one for last. We have here what looks like a full USB cable connector. So you could probably connect uh, storage with it. So this goes into the uh, G Slate, and of course you could connect your USB flash drive or something to it, and you could get additional uh, connectivity with that. And we also have the regular micro USB cable, so you could connect it to your computer, data transfer, the usual set right there. And finally, something you don't see that often every day, you got some retro style 3D glasses, the, re the uh, red and cyan colors here. So back in, back in those uh, 70s here, or even older than that, you had those uh, retro looking glasses. And it comes into play with the 3D capabilities of the G Slate. So let's put these all aside, and let's just power on the uh, G-Slate and take a look at that. Okay, so let's look at this guy here. So there it is, uh, G-Slate. Let's uh, take a look at the back, and let's just power this guy on here. Let's wait for the uh, splash screen to come up here. There we go. While we're waiting, let's just simply go over some of the other specs uh, with the uh, G Slate here. As we said, 8.9 inch uh, capacitive touchscreen has a resolution of 1280 by 768 pixels, so it's looking like it has a pretty good pixel density with itself. I believe it's a 2 megapixel front facing camera right there for video chat on the top left. On the sides here, looks like you have a dedicated power button right there. Uh, it's kind of flush there. We have a speaker right there, the proprietary charging port, the three and a half millimeter headset jack. Right side, we have two speakers. So you either in portrait, you hold it, you'll have a stereo support, or even if you hold it in, in a landscape, you'll have both because you have one speaker there and two right here. The bottom, you got a bunch of different stuff. You have your HDMI port connected to your high definition television. A uh, micro USB port for data connection, and you got these uh, pins here, most likely for a dock of some sort to connect it. On top, looks like the microphone right there. You have the uh, volume rocker. On the back, the, your dual cameras, the 5 megapixel cameras, LED flash. You got the same strip that we find on the uh, T Mobile G2X. It just gives it a little bit of character. You have a subtle so uh, soft touch coating on the back here. And on top here, you can remove the top panel. And it gives you access to things like the uh, SIM card slot only. And there is a manual reset button right there. So in the event that gets locked up or something, you'll have access to that. So if it looks nice, it feels solid. Let's take a look at the platform here. And uh, it looks pretty smooth so far, pretty quick. We're excited to check out the 3D capabilities of it. Let's just show you the 3D camcorder here. And you could tell that it gives this uh, red and blue cyan uh, overlay to your images, so you could actually watch it in 3D afterwards. So that's pretty nice. So uh, we'll have we'll take a look at this shortly and get a little bit more feedback with this device, and we'll have our review up shortly. So if you'd like to learn more about the T-Mobile G Slate or the Optimus Pad in Europe, as they like to call it, you can check out our website, phonearena.com.